with the with the OS statistics. So, uh, mm, okay, can someone please share your screen? Yeah, sure. Are you able to see my screen? Actually, yeah, I can see yes. your screen. OK, now. Uh, can you go and do the top top? Open top. This is the system which is uh, which is very busy at the moment, right? Mm -hmm. OK, so now I, I think someone asked me. I think you yourself asked me a question, right? Uh, I think Komal sir asked mm -hmm. you this question through you. Like uh, if yeah. we can have 100% CPU, right? Now, how many CPUs are there in this system? Uh, currently, we have 64. <coughs> 64 CPUs. OK, press one again. 64. Uh, yeah, 64. 64 CPU. OK, 64 CPU, but they are VMware. I mean, it's a virtual CPU. VCPU is not a PCPU or physical CPU. OK, now <coughs> one thing if you noticed. Each one of the process. Uh, uh, is showing uh, consumption almost near to 100 percent. Top five or six, like 99 percent, 96 percent, 94 percent. Is it really possible? It's not possible actually, because what you're seeing right now on your screen is not the genuine CPU consumption. Now can you go and press shift I, shift plus I. And look at the top of the screen. It says IRIX mode is off. Now this is the genuine CPU consumption, my friends. Okay. okay, this is the genuine CPU consumption. So each one of these threads, each one of these processes consuming around 1.6, 1.4 or 1 or 0.9% of the CPU. Earlier, it was showing you 100% CPU. How it's how come it's possible to all of these processes consuming 100% of the CPU, right? It's not possible. CPU is uh, fixed 100% and out of that, these processes now it's showing you the genuine CPU consumption 1.6 like this first process with a PID 40290 consuming 1.6% of the CPU. Correct. Okay. okay. Any question? I think someone has any question. Puneet. I mean, what, what was the previous mode? I mean, why was it giving false report to us? That's that's how the Linux systems are are developed. Like if you go and you do the same command on on Unix, maybe on AIX and uh, uh, Solaris, you, this problem is not there. But uh, what we talk about uh, the Linux systems like Ubuntu and uh, RHEL, or Oracle Enterprise Linux, or SUSE, Mandrake, all of these systems. I mean, this is something that is added as a default, right? So you always need to uh, disable or turn off the IRIX mode in order to get or in order to see the the genuine CPU utilization. Now, one more thing I would like to highlight here. Now, if you go and check the la very last column of this command of this top result command, it's not showing you the absolute path. Correct. Now, can you go and do C? OK, now it started showing you the mode again. These are actually Oracle processes. That's why you're not showing you're not getting the entire details like exactly now if you go and see opt just uh, okay can you please click d d on your screen d delay set it to 10 write 10 okay press enter now delay will be set to three, uh, 10 seconds uh, instead of having by default three seconds now press uh, or refresh it using uh, your uh, space bar hmm. OK, now if you see the pit stat RUD H I 1 3 do it one more time. A space you are putting right or uh, OK, come out of the top window, please. Now write top hyphen U root. OK, now press Z. Now C. Press C. Yeah, that this is the absolute path you're now seeing in the command column. So this this BES client is 
is called from OPT BES client slash bin directory. So for example, if you are not aware from where exactly this utility is called and it's actually found consuming 100% of the CPU, for example, then you can go and use the C option. C option will provide you the elaborative uh, output for the command column. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now but I have one more question. Uh, like uh, since you have uh, shut off the IDX mode, the CPU utilization came to one point something something something. But uh, uh, if on the top bar you can see the CPU utilization is still ninety one point nine for users. That's this cumulative value. For root actually, this is the this screen is only for the root user right now. What you're seeing right now is not for everyone. It's only for the root user. That is why. And in fact, if you see the memory consumption, you hardly see any usage of memory. Hmm. Yes, memory right, consumption so. is not there. Now come out of it. Do control C. Come out of it. Open top in a default mode. Just type top and that's it. Yep. Okay. All right. Wow. Yeah. Uh, DB in memory. Okay. What you're seeing right now is a terabyte of memory. Now hmm. press capital E. <clears throat> One more. It's now it's in petabytes in exabytes. <laughs> e. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One more E. One more E. Okay. There you go. You've got 251.7 GB of memory and out of it 3.1 is free. But 104.6 is in buffer or a cached mode. So that's good. I mean, you have ample amount of memory to use, right? Because uh, almost 105 GB is buffered and cached to be used. Instead of doing some frequent scan of memory or read of uh, memory, it actually cached and buffered the memory. Okay. So capital E, what you should use in order to get the uh, the memory details in uh, in in any format you want in exabytes and petabytes and zettabytes, zettabytes, whatever, right? Okay, for CPU, as I told you, to turn off the IRIX mode, press Shift plus I. And for better readability, press Z. It will come and highlight everything in red color. Right, and press C for absolute path. Right, D for delay. And uh, you can use K to kill the process, right? A lot of other features are there, right? A lot of flags actually comes along with it. Okay. <sighs> All right. Any more questions about this? Uh, one more thing in this. I, I yeah, this yeah. If, if you mm. press F, mm. it will give you the option to short it through this. Uh, yeah. Suppose I have to short it by memory, then go to the right. memory, Absolutely. S and enter. Right. So That's right. That's absolutely correct. Yes. Now, can you go back and now uh, uh, come out of this top and type D stat? If let's see if you have D stat installed here. D stat. Yeah. D stat is not. Can you check or any other system if you have D stat in, installed? Not on this OS, maybe some other system which is new, basically, which is running on RHEL 7 or 8, maybe. This is running on RHEL 7, but uh... yeah. any any anyone uh, any operating system you have with RHEL 8 because I guess RHEL with starting from RHEL 8, the D stat is now integrated with the kernel. Earlier you have to manually install it using yum. Um, let me check these are the new system. Yeah, I have used for name, but not working. Hmm. No, sir, we do not have D status of no. Okay, no problem. So let then let me share my screen. I think I have the D stat utility here. Okay. 
So that's how the DSTAT result look like. Basically, if you see screen carefully, the first part is dedicated to the total CPU usage. It's this part, right? The user, the system, the idle percentage, because here in this, my local machine, my test environment, we do not have any um, workload at the moment. So that is why most of the time you'll see idle percentage and rarely we see any process waiting, right? And then we've got disk reads, how much KB read and uh, were written by any of the process on the operating system. Net total is basically represents the, uh, the, the network activity and then paging for you know caching purpose and then for system. Uh, there are a lot of other cool uh, things what you can do with the DSTAT, like for example, if you want to check uh, for uh, the single process that is using the most CPU and consuming the most amount of memory, so you can club everything in one shot, right? Uh, hyphen top, uh, hyphen CPU, hyphen DN, I guess. Or DN, let's try with DN then. OK, now if you see. Top CPU process, top CPU process. OK, and then the memory process like this Oracle Dixit D. This process was found consuming 211 MB of memory, right? Because again, this system is not that busy. So that is why we're not seeing much results here. Or most of things are zero. What else? Uh, OK, let's try with the load average, right? If you want to get load average directly into the DSTAT, right? What happened? So this is the one minute, the five minute and the 15 minute load what you can check on your database, right? And accordingly, for example, if you want to uh, uh, keep the output in some CSV form, uh, CSV file, so you can use an output and report.csv for every, for example, one five five. Times. There you go. You've got the file. All right. All okay. Sir, it's for the uh, real time data. So, like, uh, suppose there hmm. is a SAR report uh, for the OS uh, related uh, things needs to be, uh, we can get the data from the previous days. So, for the DSTAT as well, there is something like that. These that I'm afraid, but I don't think like there is any option to get uh, the historical information. What you are saying is absolutely correct. Like in case of SAR, you can get some, uh, you know, some historical information uh, using, uh, you know, the SAR previous report, essay reports basically, right? This is what, what your question is, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I think that's not possible with this because as far as SAR, so SAR is very easy. Like you simply go, for example, if you want to check for all of the CPUs, go U hyphen, uh, hyphen F, I guess, right? Hyphen S, uh, where log SA and then SA today is five. Okay, S. Mm, zero five, yeah. For example, if you want to get report for third, right? Right. This is not something possible with the with the uh, with the D start. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe there is an option, but I, I am not familiar. I haven't. I never used this this uh, this historical information to grab from uh, the from the operating system using uh, D start. And yeah, one more option. Yeah, I just able to recall. Using DSTAT, you can also be able to get the VM stat. I mean, uh, 
if you want to display the information that is provided by the VM, VM stat. So yes, there is this option uh, hyphen V or you can also use hyphen hyphen VM stat. That's all. Same option you get. If you use only hyphen M hyphen V uh, in all the unique prefix, try D stat hyphen H. V. Uh, stats. OK, VM, sorry. M like this. OK, mm, what else? Uh, so one more question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, suppose uh, actually uh, it has been many times that uh, suppose uh, someone is uh, complaining that uh, the CPU is uh, consuming 100%. So mm. we basically uh, generally I do it. Uh, mm. With the top command, I just check uh, uh, what processes are consuming the 100% CPU. Uh, mm -hmm. And from the uh, PID, we get the SID, and the SID, we get the SQL ID and the other details. Right. So basically, uh, today, that pre uh, from the previous year, showing that. So this is uh, going to be a wrong approach. Then uh, the top command is showing the uh, wrong data basically and after the uh, pressing i is going the actual data well i won't say that's a wrong approach but because i i am now able to recall my 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 initial days so this is one of the approach that i always follow at that time i always go and you know uh, uh, use the same approach but yeah because if you are familiar with the PS command, there is another method as well using PS like a hyphen EO uh, PCPU, right? And uh, let's add the PID here. Uh, OK, uh, let's get the user details as well. And what else? Let's get the complete set of arguments as well. OK, then let's do the sort hyphen KY and 10 or 5. Let's do 10 you go it says uh, it's basically provides you the list of top cpu uh, consuming threads right so 2.2 percent of the cpu was consumed by this pid which is basically aura vktm vktm is you know a, an okay. ideal background process virtual keeper of time basically so this is one of the oracle background process which found consuming 2.2 right in at this point of time right the second is this Third is this, fourth is this, where is basically a, some Java process is consuming, right? Some uh, some resources and rest is are the uh, M on slaves and then M on process itself, then VKRM and yeah, process like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So from so there we can. Results. Yes, 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 yes. And by the way, this is the this 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 Java process is nothing but the SQL CLI, what we actually used, right? Oh, hmm. okay. What else I should discuss? I think we are. Uh, already one. It's already one thirty. So let's wrap up this call, right? Let's close this call, and uh, we have covered uh, top uh, D stat, VM stat. We little bit discussed about SAR as well, and uh, I don't think like you guys require uh, uh, you know any explanation about uh, the S trace and the P trace and SAR mon or I N slob and uh, system tab caliper because these are some really deep operating system analysis tool these are not that easy to understand first of all because talking about the system tab and hp caliper these are some performance analysis tool which uh, are which requires really a lot of time to understand it comes with a lot of because they have their own set of programming language which uh, 
you need to first of all understand and then only you will be able to troubleshoot using them. Otherwise, the basic utilities we already covered top. We have covered in, in detail in depth DSTAT. So many examples we discussed. SAR also we discussed, right? And uh, mm, uh, yeah, that's it. So 